Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to deal with some of what's going on right now. You've got people who are afraid, people who are angry, people who are happy, people who have a kill them all mentality. You don't agree with me, you can just drop dead. Um, almost a lynching mindset. And this is what I want to address that with because we could get caught up in so much emotional havoc and malice that we can start doing people harm unnecessarily. And then you have to ask yourself, where is this really coming from? Listen to this. This is uh, God's view on the whole matter as far as how we treat each other whether we are for Trump Obama Bush Kennedy whoever this is God's slant on the matter whether we are white black brown green purple polka dot here's God's slant Corinth uh, Colossians chapter 3 verses 8 through 13 and when I get to the last verse it has the word charity charity in the Bible means love I'm going to say the word love in place of the word charity to drive the point home allow me that liberty verse 8 starting at verse 8 but now ye also put off all these all these anger wrath malice blasphemy filthy communication out of your mouth lie not one to another seeing that ye have put off the old man with its deeds and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him where there is neither greek nor jew nor circumcision, nor uncircumcision, nor barbarian, Scythian, bond, nor free. Now this is Pat's two cents. Black, white, Catholic, Pentecostal, Baptist, uh, back to the word. Bond, nor free, but Christ is all and in all put on therefore as the elect of god holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering forbearing one another and forgive forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all, above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfectness. I'm done with that. Now, with Pat's two cents. We have got to operate in the love of Christ or we will implode, we will self-destruct. The one thing that acts like a parasite is hatred, intolerance, bigotry. That's a form of a spiritual parasite. It eats you out from within, it just eats and eats and eats and gnaws at you and it burns you up and you churn with anger and you're tied up in knots and you're bound and Whew. yeah it eats your life away like a cancer please don't allow that we are all here in the same country under God supposedly indivisible or are we easily divided 
are we easily set apart from one another because I don't like your kind and I don't like what your religion says and I don't like who you voted for and you ought to die like the one you voted for ought to die and you're not worthy of my time because you're not in agreement with me and it's only my opinion that counts no it's only God's let God have his way if you don't like Trump let God have his way. God knows how to handle things. He is very much in control. Not Trump. Neither was President Obama. Neither one was in control. President Trump or President Obama. Neither one. Do you hear what I'm saying? Ask God to calm your spirit. Ask God to give you to forgive you and fill you with his Holy Spirit so that you can operate in the new man, the new nature, which only the Holy Spirit gives. Full of God's love. Full of God's mercy. Full of God's kindness. You can't be mean to people when you love them. Okay, I'm going to stop. God bless you.